This is all part of a legal process that will continue going on. But for now, what it means is that local school districts are free to pass requirements that all students wear masks. This is not a complicated case. Tallahassee Judge John Cooper is the same one who previously ruled that Governor Ron DeSantis' order banning school districts from requiring masks is illegal. After that ruling, DeSantis' lawyers appealed, which put an automatic hold on the judge's ruling. This hearing was requested by the parents who are suing DeSantis, asking for that hold to be scrapped. Their argument is that more time means more chances for kids in school to catch COVID. Allowing for a stay for, for days, for weeks, or months during the appellate process will mean more sick and dead children in Florida schools. In Florida. DeSantis' lawyer said he believes that they'll win on the appeal and that the parents who are suing cannot show that their kids are in greater danger. They don't quantify the risk as to their individual children. The governor's order had at its heart the parents' bill of rights, which state lawmakers just recently passed, and he interpreted as meaning that school boards cannot interfere with parents' choices. But the judge noted that law includes a part saying officials can when the action is, quote, reasonable. He says the governor's order followed only part of the law, not all of it. I didn't write the Florida Bill of Rights. I didn't sign it as the governor did. I just said, it's there. You have to follow the law, period. The judge says his ruling goes into effect uh, immediately, meaning there's I nothing stopping school districts from approving mask mandates as long as they have a medical opt-out. In Seminole County, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.